PowerPoint 2010, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to insert content and create content for your PowerPoint slideshow. Uh, I'm specifically talking about the text content, the content that's actually the, the, the beginning of the multimedia. It's kind of the meat, it's the information. The other parts we'll bring in um, as we go on. Uh, as you start out, you'll notice that a basic slide has two different boxes, a click to add title and a click to add, add subtitle. Those are pretty easy to see and pretty obvious. I hope that you can click there and you can begin typing in text. So I'm creating a PowerPoint about internet safety and ethics and using multimedia in the classroom. Uh, my desire is to create a quick slideshow all about using internet safety and following good guidelines for copyright. So this particular slideshow is going to have a lot of different content. I am one of those people that I really enjoy creating content using an outline form, so we're going to talk about that. Before we do though, I want to show you one of the tools on the home ribbon. This new slide button, if you just click it, it's going to put in a default slide type. Let me show you. I click that and it automatically puts in a title and content slide. That's the layout that you choose. I'm going to use my undo button to take that back out and show you what happens if I click the drop down arrow at the bottom. I click this, and you'll notice I can choose now from the kind of layout I want. These layouts are set up and created in the master slide view, which we're going to talk about in another edition of this, uh, these tutorials. But if you take a look, you can pick from any one of these. So let's say I decided I don't want a single content, but I want a two content one. I can put that one in, and now I have two content boxes and a title, and I can adjust and modify these as well. These kind of give you the starting base. But there's another way to put in content. If you're the kind of person who really makes a lot of sense out of an outline, who, who kind of thinks sequentially, this can be really helpful. So I'm going to click the outline pane, and it pops up, and instead of the slides being miniature slide versions, I now have an outline. And I don't really want you to watch what's going on over here, which is the editing page and the preview of the full slide, I want you to watch what's going on here in the editing pane. I'm going to click right here at the end of what I've created so far and press the enter button. When I do that, it gives me a new line in the same level of the hierarchy on my outline. Well, I want to be in a different level, so I'm going to use the shift and tab button. Shift and tab will take me out to a higher level in the hierarchy. It's um, You can also use the um, increase or decrease list level buttons to do the same thing, but the shortcut is a shift tab. So I'm going to go ahead and start typing in my next pieces of, of information. Like I said, don't really watch what's going on here. We're going to use this to create our slideshow. So I'm going to start with the Teach Act 2002. And when I hit enter, I get a new line in the same level of hierarchy. You shouldn't be watching this, but what you might have seen is that it created a new slide. But I don't really want a new slide. I'm going to press Tab so I can create some bullets under the Teach Act 2002. What is covered? How much can I use? What about fair use? Okay, and then I'm going to go Shift Tab. Now on another slide. I can create, and now again, a new item, what is covered. And I can tab in to create another subtopic, video, audio, text. And then I shift tab to go back up to a higher level. So the big secret here is as you tab and shift tab, you can move up and down this hierarchy level, creating an outline that will automatically generate your slides for you with the content pre-filled. You'll notice it automatically is creating a single content box layout. So if you ever want to change that, you can use this layout button here to alter that layout and pick from those same sets of layouts that we saw in the new slide selections as well. So that's creating basic content in the PowerPoint outline view using the tab and shift tab to navigate between your different sections.